In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Google Keep app to organise my to-do list, prioritise all the different tasks going on in my life, uh, and allow me to be more productive. I show you how I use it on desktop computer, as well as on my phone and on a tablet. I'll also then show you how my wife uses it in a different way, more as a mini searchable encyclopedia. Before we get into the main video, a bit of background history might be useful. I'm a dentist. Uh, I'm very busy at work. I get to work just after 7am. I leave about 5.30pm. I have very little free time in between those, those two slots. Um, and what little time I have I try and use to, be, to become a better dentist, researching materials or techniques, things like that. Um, at home, uh, I've got a wife and three kids. Busy family life, so not a lot of spare time there either. I used to have a lot of, a lot of different to-do lists notes on my phone, pieces of paper in the wallet, uh, post-it notes on the fridge and uh, a four-page A4 bullet-pointed document list on the work computer of things to do or things to research. But with all those different lists I found it quite difficult to prioritise my tasks and actually get things done and often important things wouldn't get done because I, I just didn't prioritise them properly. With the way I use Google Keep it's trying to overcome those issues um, it's based on what I've learned from uh, an excellent book by Graham Alcott called How to Be a Productivity Ninja. And if you're interested in how to get your life more productive and do more things, I'd strongly recommend you, you look at that book. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use it on the desktop first. So this is the Google Keep app and this is my main overall to-do list. You can see it's brightly coloured, it's got lots of different colours and I use the different colours to um, organise the different types of tasks. So you can see at the top we've got different tasks we've got, so if it's a red item that means it's somebody I need to contact. Uh, yellow is main projects at work, green is the, the general day-to-day -day main tasks I'm doing. If there's an orange thing that's because I'm waiting for someone else to get back to me. The light blue things are anything to do with my website and then I've got a finances section and a good ideas section in grey. Um, now it might seem like there's quite a lot there, there's a lot on this overall to-do list, but the I think a very very important thing about Google Keep is that actually it allows you to, to just see your priorities and ignore everything else. And that's a, a big part of the Productivity Ninja book is, is actually knowing what your priorities are and ignoring everything else so you can just focus on those priorities. And the way you do that is you tag different items with your uh, with a, t a today tag or any other tag you want so that you can then just see those tags that are important to you at that time. So every morning I spend just about five minutes looking at my day, looking at my diary, seeing if there's anything that really needs to be prioritised and those things get tagged as today and then over on the left hand side I'll just click the today list and that shows me everything that I've tagged as important for today and I can then ignore everything else. It allows me to focus just on the tasks that I have decided are important um, and just get that done. So things for today, the top left thing here is I'm recording this video. Um, so I can, I'll can i show you later how I then show you I've, I've completed that task. I've got a couple of things I need to look at, so I'm discussing something with someone from work. Uh, red one here is I'm going to be contacting Ben, my technician, to discuss a couple of cases. A couple of things in light blue are some uh, books I'm reading, my thoughts that for the book review I'll be doing on them. Uh, yeah, so this is my things to do for today. So when I've completed a task, so for instance when I've finished this video, uh, I can get rid of this from today so that I know I've done it. And you're either doing that by deleting it or by archiving it. So if you want to archive it, just click that button there. It takes it out of your main to-do list, but it, it has a record of all the things you have done. Normally I don't use that because I don't normally find that I need to archive my tasks. So instead I will just click delete and that gets that off that off my to-do list. So by just having a, a short focus list it's easy to see what your main priorities are and get those done and ignore anything that you said isn't a priority. If I were to get everything done on my today list then I'm, and, I, and I've got the kind of motivation to want to do more, then at that point I might then go back onto the main list for, for my main overall list and I may then find something that, that isn't a main priority 
So for instance, it might be something in, in grey of, of uh, ideas to research or materials to research, that kind of thing there. So that's the main way I use it is either on the home computer or on the work computer for, for organising all of my tasks. But the other thing that's really quite useful is that because it's cloud-based, hosted by Google, it's also automatically on my phone and on the iPad. So if I just show you this over here, so I'll just zoom in the So this is my iPad um, that I use and anything that's on Google Keep is also automatically on here. Uh, and I can do the same thing, I can, I can just show you the items that are important for today uh, or I can go back to the, to the main list as well. The way I use this is partly on my iPad but mainly I use it on my phone. So on the phone I have exactly the same thing. And the reason this is really quite useful is that I might be driving in my car, I might be listening to an audiobook and uh, as soon as I stop I might want to log my thoughts or log an idea that I've had while I've been driving and I can just quickly log that on the phone and it's automatically in my overall to-do list to then be prioritised at a later date. So mainly I use it on the desktop but it's just because my list is always with me it's easy to not miss those important ideas and it means it stops me having multiple lists in multiple different areas. So that's really the way I use Google Keep to organise my life. Um, I'm just going to show you how my wife uses it in a bit of a different way. So rather than using it to organise her tasks, she uses quite a, quite a, a useful different function, which is that Google will um, uh, can read text on photos. So she's got a lot of different cookbooks, and rather than flick through all of the books, what she's done is actually start to catalogue them by just taking a photo of every page and importing into Google Keep, and then when Google will then analyse the photo, and it can then search for, it allows you to search for the text within that photo. So for instance, here's all of uh, the, the uh, recipes that my wife has on here, and she may look in the fridge and say, I've got a butternut squash, say, that I want to do something with, so if she just searches for, uh, for squash there, then it brings up all of the recipes that she's got that include the word squash. And it just means that that can uh, allow her to have uh, quicker access to all of her recipes. So there's lots of different ways you can use this app. Um, I've just shown you how I find it works for me to organise my to-do list and how my wife uses it. Uh, obviously you may find other apps that work just as well for you, but I thought I'd just show you what works for me. If you found this useful, uh, please do like it and share it, but also look at my other videos that I've got on my YouTube channel and look at the, uh, the, my blog on my website via the link below. Have a good day.